helping save the lives of local babies. Right now, Jacksonville City Council is meeting and on tonight's agenda, local infant mortality rates. Infant mortality rates, they are higher in Duval County than across the rest of the state and the country at large. According to data from the Northeast Florida Healthy Start Coalition, local babies who are black are nearly three and a half times more likely to die before their first birthday than babies who are white. News for Jackson reporter Ann Maxwell live at Jacksonville City Hall, where soon and the City Council will vote on an initiative that would tackle those statistics. Yeah, Joy, that city council meeting is set to get underway here any minute now. And on the agenda tonight, that line item for $250,000 that would go toward hopefully saving lives and helping local families thrive. As Jacksonville's chief health officer, one of the issues Dr. Sunil Joshi is hoping to tackle is infant and maternal mortality. The transition report calls the, the statistics for maternal and child health in Duval County gut-wrenching. Yes, and, and they are. I mean, if you think about it, overall here in Duval County, we have about a 6.4 for every 1,000 live birth associated with the mortality by the time they're one year of age. And there's a huge gap by race. According to the Florida Department of Health, 12 out of 1,000 babies born black in Duval County last year died before turning one. Some of that goes back to um, socioeconomic issues and education um, and and the importance of, of getting prenatal care too. So it sounds like a lot of these deaths are preventable. And a lot of them are. So the, the very large percentage of them, over between 20 and 30 percent of these deaths, are related to preventable causes, including sleep-related issues. Issues like bed sharing, having items in the bed that suffocated the baby, and the baby sleeping in the wrong position. So this is baby. That's where community health workers like Rosalind Parker come in. And this is an example of how the baby is to sleep in its crib, in its pack and play. She works at the Northeast Florida Healthy Start Coalition, connecting caregivers to resources, including home visits by community health workers to parents identified as being at risk of losing their baby, to help relay the importance of things like vaccines, self-care, and sleeping positions. A lot of us that are in this field have been there, done that, if you will. We have needed help at some point in time in our lives. Excuse me. It's okay. And um, we can relate to when mom says, I'm hurting. Dr. Joshi says the item before City Council Tuesday night would provide $250,000 to hire two to three more community health workers to meet at risk families where they are and help them navigate the early days of parenthood. And by touching them with some education, following through every couple of months, um, we might be able to save that baby's life. Dr. Joshi says Northeast Florida has made progress when it comes to infant mortality. He says the rate has gone down by more than 7% per year since 2018. And he says a big part of that is grassroots education initiatives. Reporting live downtown and Maxwell Channel 4, the local station.